Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Desert Treasure 2 chapters of Mr. Armbar. After completing Desert Treasure 2, we tried out all four of the new bosses and Arn Jesus decided to tempt us with a very unusual first goal, which is to complete the Soul Reaper Axe. Typically, players try to stay at one boss and complete one of the four new rings. However, for me, I ended up getting three of the four Soul Reaper Axe pieces early on from Duke, Artifice, and Whisper in the first week. So I had to take this chance to go a different route to finish this weapon off first. Only Leviathan stood in the way of completing this axe. However, our luck on this last piece, the Leviathan's Lore, ran out. And last episode, we stopped at a thousand Leviathan kills. On the way though, I did get the Venator Icon and three ingots, which will allow me to make the new best in salt range ring. The goal now is to hopefully not go too dry on completing this axe. Once I complete the axe, we will showcase the axe, go for the other ring starting with Vardo, and beat the Blood Torver challenge as well. This is another epic video full of insane grinding and lootations, so enjoy and find out whether or not we escape from the watery depths of Abyssal Hell with the Soul Reaper axe. Nice, we got Onyx, we take those. Oh! What? I can't. No way. I got a Virtus Bottoms. No way. <laughs> no way. Two out of three of Virtus? Huh? Damn, that's crazy. That's that's like the rarest drop, basically. Virtus is like the rarest item. The only thing about it is that you can get it from all four bosses. So I might complete Virtus, guys, before I complete this axe. Virtus is second best in slot overall magic gear, right behind Ancestral. However, if you are using any ancient magic spells, the Virtus has a 4% bonus per piece if you have all three, meaning 12% extra damage with Ancients, which is actually better than Ancestral. So it's best in slot for ancient magics, but still second best overall. I only need to get the Virtus top and I would have all three pieces. This will be really nice for certain things like if I was doing Theater Blood as the mage role for the freezes, and also I can use freezes or things like Slayer Collection Lock stuff when I do Barrage Tasks, it'll be really nice for those. These items are pretty rare, however, you can get the first pieces from all four bosses, so they're basically designed so that when you grind out all the rings and maybe the Soul Reaper Axe, you should be able to get full Virtus, so let's hope for that. Like, I've been mindlessly grinding this boss so hard that I didn't even check to see if I reached my next 100th kill, and I already cleared it way, way beyond that now. Let me wear it, I guess I can wear this. We got two out of three. Looks like Virtus that we, we know and love from back in the day. Before we continue the grind, let me grab some good food so I can get some energy back. How often do you guys grab fast food because you're too busy gaming or lack the energy simply to cook a good meal? If you're having this issue, then today's sponsor, Factor, is here to fix that. Factor is here to provide freshly cooked food that is both healthy and tasty. Skip the grocery shopping and the cooking process altogether as you can choose between 34 plus weekly meals that are delivered to you fresh and never frozen. Simply place the food in the microwave for 2 minutes and your factor meal is ready. It is really that simple. I had the herb crusted chicken with mashed cauliflower and toasted almond green beans for dinner tonight and their mango smoothie and it was a tender delicious and filling meal. It's really nice to know that I have more time to focus on grinding Desert Treasure 2 bosses and working on videos without worrying about prepping for food thanks to Factor. The food is nutritious so that allows me to stay sharp and feel good throughout the day. If you want to enjoy delicious and healthy food without all the prep work and saving time or go to go.factor75.com and use my code as you can see on the screen for 50% off your first box. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone and you won't regret it. Oh, nice. Yes, we just got our fourth uh, ingots. Cool. We still haven't made the ring, keep in mind, because uh, I'd rather have six ingots so I can make two rings. So this is uh, number four. Just need two more rings. So, I mean, uh, if I get two more ingots, I'm making the Venator ring, though. Oh my god, no way! I got a second ring piece! Bruh! 
I don't want a second ring piece, but I can't complain too much because technically it's money, but no! <laughs> Damn it, bro. Yeah, I, I guess I am on raid for two rings, so I'm actually not even lucky or anything on the ring, believe it or not. Let me see if this takes a little bit of ch chip damage. It doesn't. Wow, chip damage doesn't even affect crystal armor. The only thing that degrades crystal at this boss is if you don't properly protect from prayer from the right auto attacks those ball electric attacks and if you do it perfectly that means you don't lose any charges whatsoever i only use very little since a lot of the kills at this point after doing so many are basically perfect oh uh, yeah i heard someone said you can just use shadow blitz any any of the shadow spells and uh, it'll do the same thing oh it works yep i don't even you don't have to use shadow barrage so if you're trying to save some runes you can use uh, any of the other uh, shadow spells. Dude, oh my god, I just glitched this boss. You, did you guys see that? All right, this was uh, this is what you call the money trip, guys. This is the money trip. This uh, it's technically whatever I don't know what the price is nowadays, but let's just say seventy mil. All right, this would be like a seventy mil, four point five mil, just because of the onyx and the uh, awakened orbs. So. Oh shit, 1500kc. Three kills ago, I, I lost track. Really interesting how if you sneak a hit in when you stun the boss, as it phases straight into enrage phase, the boss just gets stunned for like super long times. You get three hits before it does anything. Oh my god, another one? Damn, another Onyx Bolt tip. Two in one trip, that's new. 1600 KC, yeah. Nowadays, my Leviathan trips typically last more than 20 minutes. Sometimes it can go up to like an hour, depending on if the boss drops a lot of prayer pots. And it also drops range pots too, so that's why I bring crystal dust now, so I can turn them into divine range pots, so I can stay there and be really efficient, since the divine range lets me keep my max hits the whole way and faster kills. Uh, that's enough levy. Oh shit, we hit over 1700kc now. Oy. Number go up. Oh, I did it! Yo, I can actually make the range ring. I just got my 6 ingot. Ah, oh, finally, man. Yo, I'm gonna make the range ring after this. Here we go. Here we go, boys. We're gonna do the thing. This is how you do it, apparently. You get the icon by breaking the regular archer's ring, and then you do... Oh, okay, now I gotta go to Pierre the Seer. Oh, great. I can't make it all on my own. Wait, I also need 500 blood runes? Okay, alright, intermission. Quite simple, really. Okay. Pierre the Seer shows you how to combine ring icons with ancient vestiges. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, I got the icon now. Craft the Venom Ring. Oh, man, this was so complicated, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But I did it! Alright, let's see here. We got this cheeky ring. We got the Venator Ring here. 10 range bonus, so two more than the regular archer's ring. Uh, imbue that is. It also has a cheeky two range strength, so sometimes in some setups, you can get a whole max hit off of this ring. Other times you won't, because it's not like that big. But yeah, with the T-Bow though, you can really you can really multiply that even. Like to at least one max hit guaranteed, like every time. But Unfortunately, though, the light bear is just too strong, you know, spec weapons tend to uh, be more useful. Most of the time, even if I'm bossing with range, I'll probably wear this, unfortunately, but uh, this will be good for Slayer stuff. I'll definitely use it for Slayer stuff more. Uh, maybe some bossing. I'll, I'll figure it out over time. I can't think of anything right now, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll find some uses for it eventually. Look out for that. But yeah, we got best in slot, new ring in the game. Bye bye, Archer String imbued. Say hello to Venator. Oh yeah, I hit 1800kc. Dude, I don't even pay attention to the exact number. Oh dang it. Messed, messed up at the end. <gasps> oh my god, I got the pet! <laughs> what the what the hell is that noise? I was like, wait a minute. This is, dude, what the hell? I got the pet? No way on the last kill. Oh my god, I actually got the pet. <laughs> okay. Damn, we're literally getting everything but that, huh? Wow, that's such a cool pet though. Oh my god. That shit glows? Wow, very cool, dude. It's 1 in 2,500. Ooh, so we got a little lucky there, eh? We got a little lucky there on the pet. Wow. Look at his movement animation, though. So cool. 
try this out let's try this out okay i'm gonna feed it and if i don't get it back i'm gonna be pissed oh little violent leech <laughs> holy shit i actually lost my pet hopefully i get it back because I'm, I'm gonna be so pissed at you guys if you actually trolled me i didn't get it back oh boy i'm kind of nervous man oh we're good boys yo we got it back yes nice i got a uh, 12 pet tokens i've never used it before so i want to show that off actually all right guys we're at 1900 kc um that's about it yeah we'll uh, go to 2000 yep we're gonna double kc next youtube video title 2000 violence for this <laughs> <gasps> no why uh, number three i mean i'm pretty much on ready for number three too as well ah <clears throat> What? What the f***? Oh, bro. There's four rock... Ugh, four shells in a row. I got chest. Literally 5D chest. Oh my god. There we go, guys. 2000 KC. Holy shit. Oh my god. No way. You're serious? I'm only on rate for three. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh shit, I did uh yeah, we are now 2100. I always forget to check it on the on the 100th intervals, but yep, 2100. Let's go. Oh, yes. The manta rays. We're getting our food back. Honestly, I might be I think I'm breaking even with the mantas. At least if I'm getting them from the perfect, you know. Oh, okay. It looks like they did get rid of it completely. The chip damage completely got, uh, got removed. Wow, we've gotten so many orbs today. I think this is my, uh, this is my fifth one, man. Damn, 2200, guys. Woo, yeah, 2200. Oh, yeah, shit. 2300 KC. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, another milestone, I guess. Can't really flick what you can't see, you know? Oh, I got it! Oh, my God! Let's fucking go! I did it! Let's go! Three, uh, three times dry. Oh my god. Get me out of here, boys. It does look like a lime. Holy shit. Let's go. Oh, finally. We're freaking free. We got the first piece here that I have to do. Followed by the axe set and then the staff and then the lore. So, yeah. Let's uh, do this. Create a soul reaper axe. Does it, does it make a noise? I wonder. Oh, dude. Okay, they just literally use the enchant noise. It's the same same noise as the enchant. I mean, overall, I definitely would not complain about the uh, the time that it took me to get this thing because we pretty much averaged out. So, like 2,600 kills, but most of it being Leviathan. But yeah, we are going to go do stuff with it. Uh, the first thing is we're going to go to Varthus and we're going to grind that boss. Starting with Farvis to get the second new ring, and then I'm gonna go to do get that ring, and then go to Whispering, the last ring over there as well. That'll be the plan. In the next video, I will definitely go very in depth on the Soul Reaper axe, like showcasing where I found the axe to be really useful, like best in slot. I will talk more about the negatives and all that in the next video because in this video, it's all about the positives, which is right now using the axe at Vardavis because that is the boss where Soul Reaper Axe is 100% best in slot at. And for reasons that are, I guess, quite simple, Vardavis is weak to Slash. It's also a 2x2 two two mob, meaning that the Scythe cannot utilize its 3 hits. It can only do 2 hits. So the axe's super strong single attack actually outrivals everything that the other weapons have like fang scythe does not beat the axe at Vardavis. so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some Vardavis with the silver axe let's talk a bit more about the plans with desert treasure 2 content so i'm definitely going to be working towards completing full vertus getting the four rings and the blood 12 all right so as far as the vertus goes it's going to be passive because all four bosses drop them as far as the ring goes with the Soul Reaper Axe, we're going to go to Varvis right now, as you can tell, and get that ring. And while I am getting that ring, I'm going to be learning how to master regular Varvis. I need to learn how to get 
good at Vartifus and Duke because I already know how to do Leviathan and Whisper. The plan is once I learn all four of the regular versions and be able to do it really well, then I can go ahead and complete the Blood Torver Challenge. I do have limited orbs on the Iron Man, so definitely the best way to go about doing the Blood Torver. How's the axe? Oh, it works great. I just, uh, oh, new PB, huh? Holy shit, 53 seconds? Dude, I'm not even that good at this boss. Like, I'm literally learning this boss right now. And uh, even so, we still got a 53 second kill with the axe. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. I beat my PB even though I don't really know what I'm doing quite yet with this axe. So, that's great. That's a great sign. It definitely works. Okay, bro, you were like no HP. Oh, I got a blood quartz. Nice. Ooh, first one. Cool. The Blood Quartz is probably the best add-on for Ancient Scepter overall just because it lets you heal over your maximum HP by, I think, like, what, 10% with Blood Barrage or Blood Spells. So that's really nice. Like, if you're going for Budget Inferno, the Ancient Scepter with the Blood Orb will be really, really good. Or the Blood Quartz, I mean. Damn, I, I love seeing that 73, though. It's so satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. I will assume you know a bit about how the Soul Reaper Axe works, so I'll just quickly talk about how I use it at Vartifice. But I will go in-depth in the next video about where to use the Soul Reaper Axe and how to use it at different places. At Vartifice, you can camp the whole time with the Soul Reaper Axe and it'll work fine, but for me, I like to use it all the way until 150 HP because I'll be low HP typically and I'll use the Soul Reaper Axe spec to gain 40 life points back from the max charges that I got from the beginning. And once I do that, I'll be high HP and I like to switch over to a spec weapon. Usually Sorrow's God Sword, if I need more health, is really nice DPS and just extra healing. You can use Claws of Void Wicker if you have that or any other spec weapon. And then whatever HP is left, I like to finish off with the Fang. You could Scythe as well, but Fang's nicer for irons because you save Blood Runes and Blood Fairy Charges. And it's almost the same DPS as the Scythe anyways. But yeah, that's how I usually do it, and then I just repeat the kill every time. Sometimes I get lucky, and my blood fury just heals me like crazy. And I don't need to ever switch the Sorry Brax from start to finish. Regarding the Zara's God Sword, it's actually a really good spec weapon for a lot of PVM. I've been collecting a lot of different clips, so I'll show you a super cool video on the Zara's God Sword very soon. That was another- oh, another perfect- oh my god, two in a row. We're really getting it down, and this axe is absolutely clearing. All right, now we also need a heal too. Oh, yo, that was so good. And I got the heal too. I saw that ranger. Don't don't think I didn't see you, bro. Don't think I didn't see you because I saw your ass. Dude, this guy spawned here. Are you kidding me? He spawned right behind the pillar. Like, the biggest thing is that I didn't die, so. Oh, yes, nice. Number seven, Chromian Ingot. Yay. That means we're working towards our third ring. Theoretically speaking. Working towards our third. Let's talk about the loot from 2000 Leviathans. Just to wrap up. No idea where the other 300 went. Honestly, not sure why I didn't track. But let's just talk about the spoils. We got 40 Awakening Orbs. Really nice for the Blover Challenge. One of the nice perks of going really dry on one of the Axe pieces. At least. Also, so many Onyx Bolts, so many Rune Knight Auras. That's, yeah, definitely worth at least 30 mil or something. Uh, as for Runes, oof. Yes, the 35,000 Soul Runes are so nice for the Shadow. Dragon Bolts, I think I I profited at this point because I stopped using the Zarya Crossbow halfway. Uh, lots of Ore, lots of Gems. The Manta Rays are really nice. 4,000 Manta Rays. Gonna be really good for using it at, like, the other bosses, like Farvis. Uh, we got six ingots, which is really nice. And also, we got a lot of random arrows. And as for the other uniques, of course, we got the four Venator Signets. So one more than I should have have. And I think they're around like... I'm not sure. They're, they're actually not the cheapest one. They're actually like 70 mil or something. So you could say that that's technically like 300 mil. So instead of a 200 mil loot tab, it's probably at least... Yeah, 500 mil to be honest, with the Signets added and the lore piece added. Uh, decent amount of clues, uh, six elite clues from that. We're going to wrap up here though. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys very soon with another one. Take care.